Hello, welcome back to Al's Kitchen, the crazy show that shows you how to cook stuff, sometimes badly. I'm your host, Al, and this is my co-host, Kaya! And on today's show, we're going to show you how to make a giant Jaffa cake. Whee! Did you like that new intro music? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. We made that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, on with the Jaffa cake and on with the ingredients. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. To that way or that way? Down to the kitchen. Down to the kitchen. See you in a bit. Okay, bye. Right, so first, for the easy bit, get our orange jelly here. Yeah. We're gonna put it in our jug, our nice Pyrex jug. Yeah. We've got our spoon. Got the spoon. And then we get a bit of boiling water. And as this is not the concentrated jelly I wanted to get, we're just gonna melt this down so it's like a nice liquid so we now got all our jelly mixed down and then what we do you get a wok a wok or a small frying pan like a so we're going to line the wok with cling film so it's easier for our jelly to come out and you just get this all nicely lined right in you go now we've got it in our pan, lined with our cling film. We need to put this in the fridge and then you leave it there until it's completely and utterly set. Put it in the refrigerator, you regret it later. Put it in the refrigerator, you regret it later. Right, so for the next bit, we're gonna do the Jaffa cake base for our Jaffa to sit on and then chocolate on top. Okay? Yep. You sure? Yep. Okay, let's go. We're gonna need our caster sugar, 225 grams of caster sugar, 225 grams of butter, but I'm probably gonna chop this up. There it goes. There it goes. Right. We gotta mix this all together. Okay, so now we've got this into a nice mashed texture that kind of looks like mashed potato really and now we need to add four large eggs so there's one and finally four so next we go to stir our eggs in so now we got our mixture still a few, still a few lumps of butter in there we're nearly there so it is nice and gooey now now the eggs are mixed in so Kyle if you want to just start pouring in the flour please okay okay and then we mix in our flour oh he's got the baking powder ready so here's our nice cake mixture see that all good what is it one teaspoon yep 
One teaspoon of baking powder. Can you drop that in? There we go. So that's one. And then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So in we go. Oh, it, it's dribbling. It's dribbling. Ah! Yeah. Off you go, KK. Stir it in. Yeah. Here's our cake mixture. We got it all stirred in. You get a frying pan. Not a cake tin, but a frying pan. We're going to line it with some grease proof paper. Right, I think that'll do. We're using a frying pan so we can get the sort of shape of a Jaffa cake base. So in goes our cake mixture. Oh, this is heavy. With our cake mixture in the pan, with our grease proof paper, we are now going to smooth this bad boy out. So there it is, all smoothed and ready to go in the oven. Right, so that's our... <laughs> right, so anyway, after a few technical issues, because our battery ran out, didn't it? Yeah. Which so, was... we had to hang... so we had to charge it up for a technical problem. Yes, we did. But anyway, back to baking. We got our oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, that is. And uh, we're now going to put our frying pan full of cake mixture into the oven for how many minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Let's go. Remember your gloves. Remember your gloves. Remember. Otherwise you'll burn. Otherwise you'll burn. To death. That's a bit harsh. To death. Yeah, that might hurt you a lot. Oh God, yeah. Right, so here we are. Our cake in a frying pan is now baked after 20 minutes. Look at that, KK. Oh, glorious. Glorious. The chocolate. No, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> chocolate time. We got a pan, boiling water, glass bowl on top. So, you know, nothing melts. We got our nice dark chocolate. We break it up into squares. We put that in. So we got all our chocolate melted. So we're gonna get our board. Run our knife all the way around. Oh, we cut it a bit off. Ah, we lost a bit. <gasps> it's... There we go. So there's our base of our Jaffa cake. Look yeah. at the size of that KK. Now Gotta take the grease proof paper off. So here we go. Here we go. We got our melted chocolate. We've got our set jelly. We've got our Jaffa cake base. Let's see how this goes. Do you reckon it's gonna go right or wrong? Right. We're pouring it on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. We got a nice wobbly jelly. 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 Yeah. Jelly. 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 Let's start pouring on this chocolate. So let's go on the middle first. Uh oh! It's dribbling everywhere on the bowl. That's okay. So we've got to spread this. This is the finale! Yeah, I think we should have got more chocolate. In typical Al's Kitchen style, because we wouldn't want to disappoint you. Um, <laughs> we didn't get enough chocolate. We got 100 grams. And we should have got 200. 200 grams. But I know this is still going to taste awesome. I hope. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, you go and stick this in the fridge and let it set. Put it in the refrigerator. Are you regretting it later? Put it in the refrigerator. Anyway, our Jaffa cake, giant Jaffa cake, giant, is now in the uh, fridge and leaving it to set for 30 minutes and then we'll show you that at the end of the show. And uh, thanks for watching. Like, watch, subscribe, share with friends, uh, follow us on Instagram and all that jazz, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, also, so, also add some comments. Yeah, comments, feedback, good idea. Yeah, do that as well because we, good remembering. Because we need more ideas for our kitchen. 
Yeah. 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 Okay. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Hope you subscribe. <laughs>